Welcome back. Putting a new twist on a classic story. That's what the Adobe Theater is doing with their latest production of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. To tell us their rendition, how their rendition differs from the original, we are joined by actors Michael Wepler and Emily Cox. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you guys so much for being here. For those who are not familiar with the play, what's it about? I mean, it's based off of the original uh, Robert Louis Stevenson novella of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It's more of a, a take between good and evil, so kind of how you find that within yourself. Um, in the original, you know, he drinks a potion, he turns into the evil Hyde, drink a, he turns back into Jekyll. Uh, so it's really just kind of finding the two different sides of yourself. And how is this, how is it different performing in a horror rather than other plays? I'd say in a horror, you know, you're, you're trying to make the audience feel a certain type of way. They're, they're coming here, they want to experience, you know, different types of, uh, oh, you know, is, is this going to scare me? Is that going to scare me? So it's, it's, instead of trying to make people laugh, you know, it's, you're trying to make people kind of uncomfortable almost. So. And we meant, we talked about this a little bit in the break. There's a bit of a twist that you guys are putting on your own show. What is that twist? How does this differ from the original? Uh, well, the twist is that we don't just have one actor playing um, the character of Mr. Hyde. We rather we have four, and they actually double as other characters within the play. Um, one of the Hydes being actually played by a female. And then there's additional characters that you don't get a chance to meet in the original novella um, that you will meet within uh, our classic twist on the story. And you play one of those characters I that do. they don't meet in the classic. Yes, I play the role of Elizabeth Jelks, who's a, a very troubled woman from kind of East London. Um, and she runs into Hyde one day, and uh, well, things just get uh, a little bit different, and you kind of either love her or you hate her. And you play one of I play one of the, the Hydes. Hydes. I play Hyde number three. Okay. And I also play another character, Dr. H.K. Lanyon, as well. And what's it been like, not only to play two characters, but to also work with all of the other Hydes? Um, it's it's definitely been a little challenge to to play do two different characters, um, but it's it's been a great experience working with all the other hides. You know that we all collaborate and just come up with ideas that will really uh, emphasize the shows. Is there anything that the audience should be aware of when it comes to the play before going to watch? Definitely, um, there's going to be some loud noises. Okay. Uh, there's going to be some references to death and blood and also some drug content. Okay. Mm. Um, appropriate for all ages or would you say more adult? More adult, okay. I would, I would yeah. probably say 14 plus okay. um, is where yeah. I, would, I would put the age range for. And how do we get tickets if we wanna go check it out? You can go to adobetheater.org slash tickets okay. and you can get tickets there. All righty, and when is opening night? October 18th. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here this morning. Thank you. Thank you.